So, welcome back ladies and gentlemen and this section also we are focusing on design thinking. The grounds which we developed established during the preceding session were associated with an understanding on what design thinking should be seen as. I will just briefly go to two of the definitional elements which we discussed last time to decipher few things out of that and then I will come back to the association of design thinking and the modes of uh, communication as well as the elements of marketing mix as I said with special reference to product life cycle, product line and production line as such. Now just recall the definition that design thinking is a human centered approach wherein you have a connect with the perspective of your customer or beneficiary or the respondent. So, human centered approach and it is not difficult you keep it that way you know you keep yourself there basically. For example, you are developing a toy for someone and you for, for communication uh, with communication perspective you would be developing a communication about that toy let us say Barbie doll one of the most famous and beautiful examples one would see and, and you will immediately understand you know how design thinking affected. So, Barbie's communication about the persona of the doll never said that Barbie is the same doll. Barbie became a brand and every girl resonated with Barbie with a different kind of a personality and, and that is the perspective you know directly related to as far as the communication and the product or, or let us say brand goes. So, human centered approach to innovation that draws from designers toolkit to in integrate the needs of people and possibilities of technology and requirements for business success. So, how you would use the complete production processes, the information setup to emphasize upon the positioning you have in mind and to realize that positioning through effective communication that is precisely what we are discussing at this moment and we would not go for the elaborative kind of a relationship uh, we tried to look into although we should be understanding the sequential or let us say integral effects of design thinking on different elements of the complete process or, or in due course of time. So, then we you know then let us come back to where we were. Now, here we are focusing on the effect of modes on each other and let us because because now prominently we have to focus on communication side. So, it is not just the complementarity basically. Now, we must think in terms of that for example, we create an advertisement, we create a message and we are looking at a storyboard here. I am creating a narrative around a product, I want a particular kind of a positioning of that product. I may have an advantage of duration and a focused attention by a single customer on a mobile phone although I can use that with reference to n number of customers also that so many people would be watching that particular clip developed by me in form of a short movie. But then achieving that long attention span from large number of customers might be difficult. So, what I would try to do is I would try to even advertise about that clipping into a particular newspaper that morning or let us say uh, a television program wherein I would be using very short form of that large narrative into uh, you know in, in the form of a composite story cut short in few seconds and then I would prefer to use in you know that complete narrative in the form of a picture in a newspaper expressing the same context and here while I am creatively thinking in terms of 
putting up that narrative through different modes, I am also thinking in terms of the effect of that same storyboard with different limitations on the minds of different customers or the same customer if I am talking of complementarity. Now, here I would be I should be thinking two ways that if the same customer is looking at the same narrative in different modes then that would be having a promotional motivating or recall based effect wherein he has just seen that he has gone into detail or he has seen the detail and he goes for a recall through a short kind of a picture. But for example, if someone has not seen on internet at all, so would my picture or visual would retain in the mind of that particular kind of a customer otherwise it would be futile because there would be a substantial portion of those number of customers who would be watching only that mode basically. And then let us not forget the purpose of those modes, those modes are not just advertising modes or communication modes basically, a news channel is for news. And if my communication is extremely out of place as far as that particular news perspective goes, not only I would be going for a mismatch target there, but also somehow it would, it would not resonate and you must have seen you know. You must have seen such advertisements which seem out of place, just out of place. Many a times, many modes they accept those kind of messages because they have to generate revenue. But I do not know why those products they choose such kind of programs for their messages. Is it just a package deal or something? I do not know because, because if somehow it does not gels with that kind of a program it would not be creating that kind of a particular effect for obvious reasons. So, there we have to realize that as well that is why people are very specific when they release newspaper messages for example, on sports page, on local news page, on colored page and so on and they know that this, this message definitely would be witnessed somewhere else also. So, so let us not complicate this, let us make it simple that when we are thinking about a particular message, we definitely have to reduce the time or the visual or we might not be, we might be having only a visual and then there is associated body which is, which is there that is in the form of the news in the newspaper, in the form of the news in the television or program and so on. So, how does both, do, both of those things and these things together all, all these messages they get integrated all together. Just draw you know just recall one advertisement use any one just write it down or draw somewhere watch that on internet now that can easily be done you do not have to depend upon when it is going to be thrown at you. So, just go and type it there, surf it there and you will find it. Watch it. Now, wait for some television program which is showing that. Watch it once again and try to find it out on some print media as well. And then wait for the time when a short you know audio you hear on some FM channel as well and then realize what I am trying to say. Where do you find it completely out of place as far as the program goes? Where you do not find an integration between all the forms which you have seen or, or heard up till now? If it completely gels everywhere and it is affecting you positively definitely the developer of that message is a design thinker who actually is visualizing the complete integration rather than only the complementarity. And this thinker is not only a creative person, he understands the reach of different media, different modes, he understands the effect of those modes on the minds of the customer. 
he understands how many customers they actually are touched by all the media together, he understands how many customers they do not overlap in terms of all the media reach or they are segregatively touched that means how many people are specifically watching or reading newspaper only. One of my favorite examples is iNext, it is a newspaper and it is India's I think first for sure and probably the only bilingual daily and it was developed with a perspective of a language to be used which is actually commonly spoken by the people. And as the person who conceptualized this once he narrated this to me, he was very passionately telling me about how it came to his mind, how he discussed that with his seniors, his colleagues and then how that went to a stage wherein they named it that way and then the timing which they they saw for that news newspaper to reach to a particular target which they were forcing, you know, when that newspaper would be read by whom and then what kind of a news. So, come some common news which is which is valid for all has to be there, but then very very customized news for that particular target and obviously the clientele who would advertise in that newspaper because that would be the revenue generator. You go to go through this uh, case study, go to their website, read it once, try and understand and then go to a homemaker in your house, let her read that newspaper at around 11 30 or 12 when her children are in school not in covid days, but they are busy with their classrooms from homes. She has already prepared the breakfast, lunch has yet to be prepared and she has some open window for herself. Put that newspaper in front of her in the e-form or physically whichever way you like and you would realize what I am talking about. You would immediately, immediately learn that how this newspaper effectively thought of everything with a design thinking perspective. It is a beautiful case study, there are several other such cases which you would realize you know, there are several uh, FM stations which are specifically you know, they are uh, uh, you know when, when you hear them speaking on several issues subjects, you would immediately know that what kind of a chord they are generating with what kind of customers they call them RJs. Now, those RJs you know they, they are marketers for sure and they are producers or people who are conceiving those programs and those channels and the orientation of those channels those are design thinkers fundamentally. They very well understand this how it is going to affect what, what kind of discussion it might generate and so on. So, this, this may go on and on, but, but let us focus once again on relationship of IMC or integrated marketing communication with design thinking perspective with other elements of marketing mix and then come to product life cycle simply and product line and production line. So, here comes remember when last time we talked about the relationship of IMC with 3 P's, there we talked about the coherence, here we are talking of conception of communication with a foreseen effect on product and price or a foreseen realization satisfactory realization of that price by the company and satisfaction earned by the customer while he pays the price. So, when you are you are conceiving an advertisement you have this target in your mind and you are creating a storyboard. That storyboard shows that particular target as if he is there 
and he resonates with that and that product from that picture comes to his room or the place. For example, you are talking about a pressure cooker, whom would you show? Obviously, a homemaker. What would be the element? The element would be effectiveness of that pressure cooker, the aroma it would generate because of the precise cooking you might have because of that. But then there was a company which talked about the safety of the homemaker and there although all the other elements were there in that particular pressure cooker, but that company created a communication related to the safety of the homemaker. Jo BV se kare pyar, wo prestige se kaise kare inkar. Now that was the tagline, a beautiful one. And you believe me, all the homemakers they started questioning the integrity of their spouses. If prestige was not there, if you are going to a market to purchase that pressure cooker, and somehow you have suggested the other one. That means your intentions are not good, uh, it is just on the lighter side. But that company touched that particular kind of a chord with that kind of a communication by integrating an element of product uh, production strength they have while suggesting that they are manufacturing a safer product because definitely it requires a safety element to be associated with that lots of quality assurance is required in such kind of products and they, they might not give you a complete narrative of what kind of quality assurance uh, procedures they are going through, but they touch the right chord. And then there are there are tastes elements and those kind of elements. So, you see here product safety communication and definitely the kind of price which you would pay for that also gets gelled into the complete situation. So, whosoever is conceiving that kind of whole storyboard and advertisement and the modes of that particular message is also looking into the kind of strength they are putting in the production processes because after that message you just cannot afford to have a single mistake in that particular kind of a product. There are several kinds of you see. Oh, na 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 ri, pizza I free. Remember that? You are late and pizza would be free. But after that, you cannot afford, you cannot afford to be late actually. So, you have to create your transportation models, the training of the people and the preparation of the pizza. So, you have to train your cooks, you have to train the procedures, you have to train the people who would be carrying the pizza to the as uh, you know to the customer and you have to train them how to ride safely within the city you know within the city norms or uh, speed limits and to reach there effectively and to press the bell just in time because if you want company would be losing money and if company is doing in 10 such cases that would be a direct loss but then the positioning and the image would have a beating and the competition would come out with an advertisement which would say pizza always I free and that would be a detrimental kind of a stroke against you. So, there they assured that it never happens and that is what design thinking is it is not just throwing the message it actually is related to augmenting the complete procedure and the product obviously. So, you see you will find it everywhere, you will find it everywhere. What I am trying to do here is I want to draw your attention towards the fact that someone is thinking that way and you and I should be learning how to think that way. That is that is where design thinking IMC is. Now, let us let us go to a different slightly different level while conceiving the life cycle perspective in design with, with, with relation to design thinking. People uh, understand they talk about there are several researches, there are textbooks which talk about you know how communication changes or flow of communication changes with the life cycle of a product. There are several articles and several chapters associated with how the life cycle stages can be driven through different kinds of communication. But 
at the inceptional most stage keeping all the factors aligned or conceiving all the factors to be aligned in due course of time, foreseeing all the changes which would be coming your way. If you are looking at things with the perspective of communication, how you would not let the life cycle stages change from life cycle uh, stage of growth change from itself or, or from, from growth to stagnation, how would you keep on steering, uh, you know, steering that stage or, or maintaining the growth trajectory I should say that product has risen, it has achieved large number of customers according to the product, uh, production capacity of the organization and they are maintaining that. In fact, they are adding that. Remember I told you Deshki Dharkan? Try and understand that. Try and understand how Hero Motors does that. I have been told that it is more than 8 million bikes which they are manufacturing. I, I may be wrong by some, some number or, or you know it, it might not be so true in, in COVID times, but, but it is a huge, huge number. Honda, how many Activas they have sold? Look at the numbers, how many cycles Hero Cycles is selling? Look at the numbers and how are they maintaining that growth? Communication has definitely a role to play there and conceiving that kind of a communication which would go along in due course of time while strengthening the positioning of the product and maintaining its growth, that is design thinking and that is where design thinking in relation to communication and product life cycle comes in. Again, I am talking of integration of elements conceiving those all together, steering those in a methodical manner. Definitely marketing research, changing environment, changing preferences, it counts, but then you have created a leverage for that or, or you have created a scope for taking it all along, I should say. And then there are two more elements, product line and production line. When would you change the form of the product? while we are we are taking it towards or, or we, are, we are maintaining the growth trajectory definitely in one form it might not be so easy although there are several products which keep on going in one form only and they are known for that form basically you slightly change that form and it might not work coca cola have you ever been able to change the form of coca cola no no and you would not be able to do that anyways but you are still maintaining the growth and you have repositioned or, or I should say strengthened its positioning several times, several times. But then there are several products wherein you keep on going for you know changing the form of that product a bit at least, not hampering much of your production processes. Some augmentation in the shape or let us say some ingredients or some packaging or something basically. Consumer products you find it now and then. Pology would not find it anyways, but then there are several biscuits which sort of or, or chips you would find it or detergents you would find it so common. So, while you know looking at the whole growth trajectory, you are conceiving the foreseen product changes in the same line that is also a part of design thinking. But remember that and it is very important for us to understand that design thinking would not be complete if I just look at the product changes and not the production related changes which would be accompanying that product change. And if somehow I have to entirely change the production process while changing this product, it would be a costly affair. So, should I be monitoring that? What am I expecting out of you? Am I expecting that being uh, someone who understands communication should understand all the marketing and then should understand all the production and operations as well? Uh, well, partly right. Yes, at least you should be aware of how it is correlated and if you are not, you must talk to those people who are at the hem of the affairs and because 
that is where you would be able to create a successful campaign, a successful communication and integrating it all through. So, if I have made up my point up till now, let me take you the, to this very simple picture and I have not enabled these elements to be directly correlated to each other through different kinds of arrows otherwise it would have complicated the complete setup basically, but just you are at the center and then you know there are different modes all together and you will find public relations also there which is you know never to be called as advertising. You definitely have direct marketing there wherein you are marketing and getting connected to the customer as well as getting the feedback as well. You have sales promotions there, you have product placements, you have events and sponsorships and remember we initiated the discussion uh, two, three sessions back when uh, we referred to branded entertainment. So, events and sponsorships definitely are related to branded entertainment somehow. Word of mouth though is the ultimate objective, but it itself is a mode actually and we must know how to generate word of mouth. And then point of purchase displays, personal selling, out of home media, broadcast media, print media and so on. And while looking at this picture, keep on referring back to the discussions we have had up till now. Not only in terms of the emerging trends which we discussed a while ago, but specifically with reference to the design thinking elements which we have just talked about. Put up one of your favorite examples in this picture, any tea, whichever tea you, you consume every, every morning for example, which, which you know is your favorite your coffee, your favorite shoe, your favorite mobile phone brand which you are carrying in your hand at this particular moment or might be you are watching this video on that particular mobile phone as such. Look at that brand and recall what I have discussed in past two spe sessions specifically and you will get to know that now on you can build up an integration and uh, you know relationship amongst these elements and the rest of the elements we have just talked about. So, this is where I leave you with a particular kind of a thought that we must understand integration which is the main course of this subject integrated marketing communication. So, we must understand integration coherence, effect or I should say mutual effect and functional or, or uh, I, I must summarize this with reference to a functional correlation of all the elements we may find while thinking of a communication in relation to whatever. Thank you. See you next time. Goodbye for now.